We have a rather ambivalent attitude to science at present. We have come to expect a steady increase in the standard of living that science and technology have brought. But people distrust science because they don't understand it or feel they can control it. The popularity of science fiction like Star Trek is because this is a form of science with which people feel safe. But an understanding of science fact would lay their fears to rest much better. What can be done to harness this fascination with science and give people the background they need to make informed decisions on subjects like the greenhouse effect, nuclear weapons, or genetic engineering. The basis must be what is taught in schools. But school science is often presented in a dry and uninteresting manner. When I wrote a brief history, I was advised that each equation I included would have the sales. I included one, Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared. Perhaps I would have sold twice as many copies without it. Scientists and engineers tend to express their ideas by equations because they need to know the precise value of quantities. But for most people, a qualitative rather than quantitative understanding is sufficient. This can be conveyed by words and diagrams without the need for complicated equations. School science can provide a basic framework. But the rate of progress is now so rapid that there are always new developments that have occurred since one was at school or university. Popular science books and articles can help to put across these new developments. But only a small proportion of the population reads even the most successful book. Television is one way to reach a truly mass audience. But television is communication one way only. Now, with the internet, people can answer back and interact. In a way, the internet connects us all together, like the neurons in a giant brain. With such an IQ, what won't we be capable of? So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see, and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do, and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. Thank you for listening.